Hey, what's up guys? I'm Sal. Thanks for checking out the video. For months now, I've had a really annoying rattle coming from the front end of my first gen Tundra, specifically on the driver's side. And I've been chasing my tail on this. I recently replaced the front shocks and that didn't solve the issue. I did uh, sway bar end links. That didn't solve it either. I really thought it was going to be suspension related because it just kind of how it sounded when we, I was going over bumps. Um, you guys in the comments gave me a ton of other ideas that weren't suspension related that could have been causing the issue from the front skid plate to door pins to stuff in the engine bay and I really appreciate all the input but Skip Miller came through clutch with uh, solving the mystery for us and um, he said he was really thinking it was going to end up being my brake pads of all things and at first I was a little skeptical but um, if we listen it sounds pretty promising so <laughs> We're gonna tear this apart and um, hopefully get this solved today. So let's get into it. Okay, so this rattle happened over basically any bump in the road, whether it be a little crack, all the way up to speed bumps, anything in between, pulling out of the driveway, I'd hear this rattle, especially, I love driving with the windows down, so I'd hear it all the time. Um, and it's really hard to get good clips of it. Uh, if you watch the previous videos, you'll know I kind of struggle with it, but I think I got some, some better ones to give you an idea of, of what it sounds like. So I'll throw them in now. So looking at the front side of the caliper here, uh, you can see we got our two pads, we got the pins that hold them in place, and then we got this helper spring that pushes them off the rotor. And I honestly thought that this was gonna be missing and that was causing the, uh, the, the issue of the noise in and out, but the noise is actually kind of front and back um, where the pins I think are loose inside of uh, you know their little track there. So I think this might be stemming all from uh, user error when I installed these pads like two years ago and I never used uh, brake lube on the pins on the backs of the pads or anything like that so we're gonna be lubing it up today and hopefully that'll solve our issue okay so while you watch me take the pads out and grease them up I thought I would talk through how I was able to diagnose the rattle to be coming from the brake pads and not something else down in the wheel well down there so Skip mentioned in his comment that he was able to drag his brakes while driving down the dirt road that was causing him the rattle and that stopped the sound for him. So this was kind of an epiphany moment for me because I had always thought that the rattle was irregular and kind of unpredictable. But after reading that comment, I realized that the rattle actually was super predictable and would only stop happening when I was on my brakes. So for you to test this on your truck, just go drive over any normal bumps that cause your rattle and very lightly ride the brake with your left foot, just enough to engage the pads so that they can't rattle and move around in there. Um, and if your situation's like mine, the rattle should go away and good news, you found your problem. Um, but if not, I'd recommend reading through the comments on my Bilstein 4600 review video because there are a ton of comments from people who found rattles on their trucks that weren't this and may solve your issue instead. The fix that I'm going for here though is just to apply this grease wherever there is metal on metal contact to reduce the opportunity for rattles. You can see that I'm using the Permatex Ultra Brake Parts Lubricant and I'm following this reference on where it's safe to apply this stuff. Obviously you don't want to apply it to any of the friction material on the pads or on the rotor itself, but Having it on the other moving parts in this assembly will just help everything slide smoother and hopefully solve our rattle as well. So this is a really quick job. I had the truck jacked up, parts greased, and truck back on the ground in less than 30 minutes. So it's, it's pretty manageable. Okay, so it's the next day and I really thought that greasing up the components was going to solve my issue. Uh, I took it around the block, didn't hear any rattling, so <laughs> recorded a whole outro to the video. And then I used the truck for some errands later in the night and I could unfortunately still hear some rattling over the bigger bumps. So this morning I went and bought new guide pins for the caliper and uh, threw those in. And then I re-greased the pads on the top and bottom of them where they slide into the caliper. Um, I realized looking back at the, um, the videos from yesterday, 
I covered the back side where the pins go through all that very thoroughly, but I didn't really get the top and bottom of the, the pad. Um, and that's probably where the sound is coming from as it's kind of bouncing around against the caliper. So hopefully the combination of these will, uh, will solve it for me. I got new pins because my old pins were, you saw, really rusted and it kind of looked like they had been worn down a little bit. So maybe the, the tolerance is there, um, you know, loosened up over time. So I don't know. They still feel kind of loose in there. I'm not going to touch it. I don't have gloves on, but I'm going to go take it for a test drive and uh, I'll let you guys know in a minute. Okay, so I just took the truck all over the place, found the roughest roads that I know near me, and I'd say that the new pins and re-greasing the pads solved probably 70% of the rattling issues that I was having. So uh, there's still some rattles over the biggest bumps, but I would say the majority of them have gone away, which is, is really nice. Like even just pulling out of the driveway here, I would always get a rattle every time. Now I don't hear that anymore, so I guess that's good. Um, now, in my mind, this isn't a must fix right now in order to keep the truck safe on the road. Um, coming into it, I thought that this was going to be suspension related. Uh, and, you know, if I had a broken suspension component or something loose, like that's something I want to fix right away um, so that it doesn't turn into a much bigger problem. Um, but in this case, we've been able to localize the problem down to being the, the brake pads. I'm like 100%, I, I would say I'm 100% sure that that's where this rattle is coming from now. So. Um, knowing that and knowing that it's not, you know, essential to safety of driving the car every day, I'm pretty happy with leaving it as it is. Of course, I'd wish that the rattle was 100% gone. So if any of you guys have tips on doing away with this rattle completely without buying all new calipers, I'd appreciate the input in the comments. Um, who knows, I may need to do a new caliper in the first place because I've already needed to do that on the passenger side. I got a seized piston over there about a year and a half ago. So. Um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on that, but uh, yeah, for now, I'm just going to be leaving it like this. Thanks again to all of you guys for sending over suggestions on what the rattle could have been, but especially thanks to Skip Miller on solving the mystery for us and pointing me in the right direction. Um, pretty crazy. It ended up being the, the brake pads of all things. So um, yeah, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing and have a great rest of your day.